Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, I'm gonna make vanilla ice cream today with uh, strawberry syrup swirls in there. So first thing first, we have to take some milk. So we'll take two cups of milk. That's two cup of milk. I'm just leaving a little bit of milk in here because I need to mix the corn flour. This is two tablespoons of corn flour. So mix it in a little bit of milk so you don't uh, get any lumps. Make sure to dissolve the corn flour completely in the milk so there are no lumps left in the milk. As you can see this is completely dissolved. Now I'm gonna add this mixture into the milk. Now to the milk and corn flour mixture, we will add half cup of sugar. Uh, I'm using brown sugar because this is what we normally use at home. You can definitely uh, use white sugar. Just give it a quick mix. And now we are going to cook this mixture. Now cook this mixture until the mixture is thickened. Uh, make sure to keep stirring it continuously so you don't get any lumps. And we have to cook it until it's thick like, you know, custard. Instead of corn flour, you can uh, use custard powder as well if you want that, vanilla custard or strawberry, whatever you want. I'm just using corn flour because I'm going to add vanilla essence in it. The milk has started to thicken and I'm going to keep cooking it and keep cleaning the edges. You don't want a layer to be formed on top of this mixture. So I'm going to cook it a bit more to make it more thick. I'm going to add teaspoon of vanilla essence to because we are making vanilla ice cream so this is what will add the flavor of vanilla make the strawberry mixture I've taken strawberries around one cup of strawberries should be okay these are frozen strawberries uh, you can definitely use fresh ones so I'm gonna add these strawberries to the blender and I'll add half cup of water so I can blend it. We have to blend it coarsely. We don't need a smooth um, syrup or juice out of it. We have to make a coarse mixture of it. So I'm gonna just blend it and I'll show you how it looks. So this is the consistency of the strawberry mixture. Now we have to cook it. So I'm gonna show you what to do next. The milk has thickened and you can see the thickness. Now we have to cool it down but we have to keep stirring it continuously so it doesn't form a layer on top and we have to cool it down completely. So make sure you keep stirring it after a few minutes uh, so it doesn't form a layer on it. Take the strawberry mixture. We have to take the blended strawberries. Take them in a pan and we'll add two tablespoons of sugar. We have to cook this until it's uh, thickened. So I'm going to cook it and I'll show you how it looks in a few minutes. The strawberry uh, mixture is cooking away. As you can see it has reduced quite a bit now. I'm going to add little bit of um, red food color in it just to make it a bit more vibrant. Uh, you don't have to add it if you don't want to. Uh, also you can um, add any other fruit if you want instead of strawberry. If you don't want to add strawberry, you can just add um, any any other fruit that you like. So that's done. I'm going to cook it a bit more. And you can see how reddish it has become now because of the food color. So we need this uh, quite thick. So I'm going to reduce it more and I'll show you how it looks. And we have to cool this down as well. So the milk mixture has cooled down and you can see it is quite thick. So what I'm going to do with, this is the box that I'll be freezing the ice cream in. Uh, you can use a plastic box or a metal box, whatever you have. So I'm going to pass, pass this mixture through a strainer. Um, this is just to make sure that there are no lumps or anything in there. Uh, you can skip it of course if you don't want to save it. But uh, it's better to do it so you have a really really smooth mixture of ice cream just press it down it will pass through 
the strainer and we will have a really smooth mixture. You can see that there were a few lumps of corn flour. So this is what you want to avoid and it's really good if you can just uh, pass it through a strainer. So you, d you won't have any lumps or anything in there and you will have a really really smooth mixture. So this is done. I'm going to show you how the strawberry mixture is. This is how thick it has become now. I'm going to put it in a bowl because we need to cool it down completely before we add it to the ice cream mixture. So I'm going to let it cool, cool down. The strawberry mixture has cooled down completely and this is the ice cream mixture. So we'll just drop the mixture in the ice cream mixture. This should be enough. Now I'll take a skewer, just make swirls in the ice cream. enough now we have to close the box really tightly there should not be any air going in or out from it and we have to freeze it for seven to eight hours in the freezer and then I'm gonna show you how it looks okay guys here's the moment of truth ice cream is ready and you can see how beautiful it looks I'm gonna try to scoop it out perfectly Oh, that looks good. I'm so excited. Here's the ice cream. Give it a try guys and let me know if you like the recipe. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.